it's true, I do work in, in several different mediums and um, I think that the best way to sum up what I do is, is, uh, is sexual anthropology. Uh, I'm fascinated by human behaviour, especially when it comes to, to sex. I make jewellery for the inside and the outside of the body and the body is my limit uh, in many ways. I, I respect the body constantly and of course when you're making things for the inside of the body, uh, you have to do that. Um, to a whole new degree, you know. Um, the inside and the outside of the body, to jewel the body in general. I'm s extremely fascinated by the way that an object can change the way that we move, that we touch each other, that we experience um, space in itself. Well, I guess the fact that I consider the pieces that I make for the inside of the body jewelry may be rather odd. Um, but I do work in silver and gold for things like dilettos and prostate stimulators, both for men and women, and benoit balls and silver. And um, I think that the body should be adorned inside and out with um, the finest materials. I call those objects jewel tools because they do have a very distinct function. Um, and I realize through the objects, actually, through the jewelry and through the jewel tools that um, I had a vision of our sexuality and pleasure in particular um, that didn't necessarily correspond to everyone else's. And I realized that people actually pigeonholed and categorized certain um, tools and techniques of, of uh, loving uh, as SM or kinky or uh, something perverted or not quite right. And I realized that it was a very limited vision on pleasure and that we tend to judge things that we don't understand and judging uh, creates big limits not only around the person who's judging them but the person who's being judged. The best advice that I can give about sex is to be present. Be present with yourself and your partner and uh, that'll already make you a pretty good lover. So it's good to learn to slow things down, which is one of the things that I talk about in the book. How to extend playtime and therefore begin to pump endorphins, which is the body's natural love drug. My perfect first date uh, over a big plate of um, oysters and crab and champagne. Second date, I think we should get to know each other a lot better. <laughs> My next big plan is, of course, to launch the book. And um, I imagine that's going to take some time. In the meantime, I'll work on my, my marble projects and uh, I think it'll generate other things. One thing leads to another.